Krishna Krishna So in Bhagavad Gita, chapter 18, text 65, 66, when Krishna is summarizing Bhagavad Gita and he is saying, Sarva Dharma Parityaja Maamekam Sharanam Raja. He is saying, surrender, leave everything and surrender on to me. And, but people didn't understood completely. 
So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came as a devotee to practically show how to surrender to Krishna. And that's what he recommended, chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra, what we did right now, as a Yuga Dharma. It's the only thing which one should do in this age of Kali. Other things are practically not possible. We do not have long life as Dhru Maharaj to go in a forest, lay down a kusha grass, set a seat which is neither too high, neither too low, look single pointedly at the tip of your nose and then, you know, complete free from desires. It's very difficult, practically very, very difficult. So, in this age of Kali, Bhakti Yoga is the most recommended method. And in that, you know, chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra, which you just did, is the most sublime way of understanding God consciousness. It is said, when with sincere heart, you chant Hare Krishna mantra, Krishna dances on your tongue. Real Krishna dances on your tongue. That close you are with Krishna. So close your eyes and just like a baby who cries for mother, let's cry for Krishna. Ask for help. Somehow we have fallen here. We need help. We are calling Krishna to come and help us. It's like a 911 call to Krishna that please come and take us from here. We are trapped. We need some help. We want to get out. And Krishna will surely send his messengers or himself and will deliver us from this Maya or the clutches where we are stuck. So my dear friends, close your eyes and then we'll do a call and response for some time. I will chant the mantra and together you will respond. This is called Sankirtana. Sang means together, Kirtana means glorifying. So when we are doing the mantra like this, it's called Sankirtana and it's a Yuga Dharma. And when we do it together, our prayers are heard more. Okay? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.
हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र की जायबल दिवोटीज हरे कृष्ण एवरी डे इन योर लाइफ इफ यू कैन डू सम अमाउंट ऑफ श्रवण विच इज हियरिंग एंड कीर्तन इन विच यू ग्लोरिफाई एंड देन दर्ड स्टेज इज मरण इन विच यू सी डाउन एंड मेडिटेट ऑन वॉट यू लर्न एंड देर इज अदर देर टोटल नाइन फॉर्म्स ऑफ भक्ति नाइन वेज ऑफ अप्रोचिंग लॉट फर्स्ट वन इज श्रवण विच वी ऑल आर डूइंग श्रवण हियरिंग hearing about the past times of the lord what lord did what lord said it purifies our heart and our only actually if you ask uh, aim of life is to do that nothing else you know we learned so much in the past few chapters uh, can you believe that we have finished five chapters of bhagavad gita hari bol this is actually a big milestone very very big milestone think of it we are approaching almost like 30 35% 40% yeah it's it's very auspicious and uh, it is said one verse of bhagavad gita if we hear and uh, you know follow it our lives can become successful so uh, congratulations to all of you this has been a great victory from your part and krishna is watching as whatever sacrifices you are doing krishna is watching as a super soul and recording everything and this is going to give you eternal credits trust me when the account will be opened oh yes this was done here so very good and how many of you did uh, ekadashi last uh, 12th of june oh my god so happy <laughs> let's give hari bol to all who did ekadashi hari bol so it is uh, very important it is not that you have to stop eating on the day of ekadashi best is to not eat anything but say people like us who are traveling and all correct and uh, uh, you can eat food but there is certain things which are not allowed to be eaten on that day correct like the grains you don't eat chapati you don't eat rice but you can eat plenty of fruits you can eat plenty of milk products and all okay and it is very recommended because what is happening is is uh, uh, you know there's a story and i'll make it lit very short that uh, you know when pap sin was saying where do i uh, do because people are so pious you know everybody you know you ask that uh, you know nobody is eating meat nobody is eating is gambling and all correct then people are so pious this is the time of prikshit maharaj around that time correct so then uh, you know it said no actually you can act, uh, uh, on the day of ekadashi okay you can uh, uh, you can stay in anna so uh, whosoever will eat anna on the day of ekadashi ekadashi means 11 so our lunar cycles are 14 days and on that day uh, sin is there in the in the in the anna so if someone is taking that then uh, kali does some wonderful things from there so it's best to avoid that correct we are taking so much nice bath and then if we put the mud again on top then it's like no use of taking a good bath correct so that's another way of uh, uh, yama think of it you know restraints not to eat during the days of ekadashi okay we'll continue our program everybody please uh, have your bhagavad gita's ready so we'll start with today chapter 6 which is called dhyana yoga and uh, let's start with the invocation there is there are new books which we have got here so you can get a copy and we like to thank uh, dilip prabhu who is back and mata ji and you know the moment they have come the whole innovation has again started let let's give a hari krishna to thanks. dilip prabhu and his wife hari bo all you no no and then we also like to thank uh, abhishek prabhu and his whole family 
tirelessly they are uh, recording all this uh, classes helping on broadcasting it so that many people can hear it so thank you very much prabhu hare krishna jai and then also uh, i wanted to share one thing uh, last uh, on on this day of ekadashi there, there is a cow female cow 10 months old cow and uh, the owners were ready to sell her and uh, somehow krishna used us and i wanted to report uh, to all you devotees that uh, with the help of achal also here we are able to save that calf and that calf is secured and her name was zoe and now her, we have named her mohini <laughs> may she attract like mohini vishnu took the form of mohini and she attracted the demons and the demigods together correct she and nobody could resist looking at her everybody was compassionate towards mohini may that mohini inspire good feeling of love around everybody so you know the cow killing stops in america you know slowly sometimes you know so you are more than welcome to go and see her she is in um, uh, rancho san antonio state park it is in cupertino and you have to go to deer hollow park there's a, a, a you know sanctuary for uh, kids around and uh, you have to ask you just park your vehicle there then around 1.5 miles you have to go correct achal how was your experience um, it was good it was really nice i walked alone it was nice very hot weather yes but uh, it was really nice i couldn't find it at first and i had to go around but uh-huh. i found it and i saw the other two cows yes the, the mother is called luna yeah. and then the first daughter is roxy she is 2 years old and then zoe is uh, all our mohini is 10 months old i yeah. heard her hey oh you did excellent next time when you go take some um, you know uh, roti oh, okay. because they are she is not first time actually daddy went and vasu went and uh, she was never experience a banana <laughs> can you believe that first time she experience a banana and she was not sure how to eat so roti also you know we have to uh, and then a uh, good part was you know and that that was a realization uh, we cut we got some apples also apples you know with a okay organic apple etc etc we 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 took it we offered to her she didn't took apple can you believe and then lisa told the the caretaker told that she somehow has the smell that if you pluck the apples from the tree which are growing in the orchard there and give her she will immediately eat it but she doesn't she doesn't takes anything which comes from the market so i was thinking wow 10 year 10 months old cow has a consciousness that probably this fruit is not good for her all gmo and other related and then we as uh, you know uh, high tech professionals we are just tuk, 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 we have no discrimination so who is better <laughs> she is very pretty yeah she will be a very, very nice very cool. cow yeah yeah she will be a very nice cow and full uh, pure jersey breed so when she will have babies she will give pretty big amount of milk let's go om agyana timirandasya gyananjana shalakhaya chakshu unmilitam yena tasmay shri guruve nama many of you i see are joining first time so this we are talking about the other prayers called mangalacharan on page 1 so you can also repeat together when you are there yeah let's do the next one shri chaitanya manobishtam sapitam yena bhutale स्वयं रूपा कदा मयम ददाति स्वापदातिक वंदेहम श्रीगुरो श्रीयुता पदकमल श्रीगुरो वैष्णवांश श्रीरूपा सह गजाता सह गना रघुनाता तम सजीव साद्वैत सवदूत पिजना सहित श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधा कृष्ण पद सगन ललिता श्री विशाखा स्वीता हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते 
ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾ ಕಾಂತ ನಮಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ರಾಧೇ ಬೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವಿಶ್ವಭಾನು ಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ವಂಶಕಲ್ಪ ತರುಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಾ ಶಿವಾಸ ಆದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ಬೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಯೋಗ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಯೋಗ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ವಿ ರೆಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಿಸ್ ದ ಅಷ್ಟಾಂಗ್ ಯೋಗ ಇನ್ ದ ಟೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸಮರೈಸಿಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಮೂವ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕರ್ಮ ಯೋಗ and then uh, you know this this is where the setting is so everybody is aware that battle of kurukshetra you know arjuna confused and uh, using arjuna krishna is trying to give a knowledge which is relevant to us in this age so we can get ready access to all that which was told to arjuna okay dhyana yoga so uh, is think of it so so far we have discussed karma yoga correct and then we also discuss jnana yoga correct now we are going to do dhyana yoga okay so think of it just as a as a as this uh, goes there is a lot of misconceptions and uh, fortunately there is a yoga international day coming up correct so asanas is what people think it as yoga asana is actually one of the limb of ashtanga yoga so today dhyana yoga is also called ashtanga yoga and uh, uh, it is there are eight limbs is called yama niyama asana pranayam pratyahar dharana dhyan and samadhi so these are the eight limbs of ashtang yoga and asana is just one component of that overall yoga but pretty much these days people are saying yoga for uh, what you say pregnant woman yoga for arthritis yoga for uh, uh, weight loss correct actually if you look at it the yogis were very very ugly to look at because the yogis used to uh, not eat anything have a big beard their skeleton you can see their skeleton pretty much you know their tummy was like plugged down inside uh, almost touching their back so yogis or the yogas were uh, big austerities basically correct but uh, you know these days there is a very uh, this is not what krishna talked about yoga when people are saying yoga for good health or yoga for the yoga for good health was there so that you can practice uh, dhyan or connection with lord for longer period of time okay so it's very important to understand what krishna really means uh, uh, by you know ashtang yoga and that's what uh, krishna has dedicated a full chapter on this sixth chapter uh, maharshi patanjali very nicely has put together uh, uh, also uh, you know uh, sutras and we should uh, also review that so let's start ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಒನ್ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಯೋಗ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಉವಾಚ ಅನಾಶ್ರಿತ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲಂ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮ ಕರೋತಿ ಸಾ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ಸಯೋಗಿ ಚ ನಾಗ್ನಿ ನ ಚಾಕ್ರಿಯ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇ ಶಿಲ ಎ ಸಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾನ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶಿಲ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾತ್ ಶಿಲ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾತ್ ಕೀ ಜಯ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ದ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೂ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಒಬ್ಲಿಗೇಟೆಡ್ is in the renowned order of life and he is the true mystic nor he who lights no fire and performs no duty let's read the purport and why i am doing it is and i am assuming that you all are in the your home you have books you are going through very detailed purport readings because here i try to give a very high level overview give examples 
but reading Shila Prabhupada's purport is very important, correct? So, just to bring us in that habit, let's read the full purport of uh, text 1. In this chapter, the Lord explains that the process of the eightfold yoga system is a means to control the mind and the senses. However, this is very difficult for people in general to perform, especially in the age of Kali. Okay, so very clearly Prabhupada is saying that this Ashtang Yoga is very difficult to achieve or do. Although the eightfold yoga system is recommended in this chapter, the Lord emphasizes that the process of Karma Yoga or acting in the Krishna consciousness is better. Everyone acts in this world to maintain his family and their paraphernalia. But no one is working without self-interest. Some personal para, uh, some personal gratification, be it concentrated or extended. Concentrated means for yourself. Expanded means if you are doing it for society. Say for example, if you are doing it for all Indians in the Bay Area. Correct? You are trying to do something, but you are trying to do it at a higher level. Or your family. Correct? Certain class, you know, you associate with certain thing and then you are trying to look at that. The criteria of perfection is to act in Krishna consciousness and not with a view to enjoying the fruits of work. That we have been very clear, correct? That we want to not enjoy fruits for us, but we want to dedicate our fruits to Krishna. To act in Krishna consciousness is the duty of every living entity because all are constitutionally parts and parcels of the Supreme. The parts of the body work for the satisfaction of the whole body. The limbs of the body do not act for self-satisfaction but for the satisfaction of the complete whole. Similarly, the living entity who acts for satisfaction of the supreme whole and not for personal satisfaction is the perfect sannyasi, the perfect yogi. So Prabhupada is giving the example like we discussed, if the finger wants to eat the food, is it possible? No. Finger has to take the the the... Uh, the food, put it into the mouth and from mouth it will go to the stomach and the digestion will happen and the finger will get the energy out of it. Correct? So, since finger is part of this whole body, finger is cooperating with this body. Similarly, since we as souls are part of the of, 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 the, of, of Krishna, then we have to also Work for, in alignment with Krishna, just as we gave the example of finger to the body, then we are parts and parcels of Krishna, correct? So we also have to work for Krishna. Otherwise, if we are working for ourselves, we are like the rebel finger who is trying to eat by itself and can it get any energy? You put so much of food inside the finger, forget it. Nothing will happen, trust me. <laughs> correct? You can also experience. So there are certain things which you say, for example, same thing we have uh, discussed that if there are a fruit tree, you don't have to go to individual mango and give water or individual leaf and give water. What do you do? Give water where? To the? Where the root is and the full tree gets nourishment. This is a very simple analogy, correct? Let's go to the next part. The sanya, and there's one, one sentence I want to, who acts for the satisfaction of the supreme whole and not for personal satisfaction is a perfect sannyasi, the perfect yogi. So, look at how Krishna, you know, Prabhupada is defining this. That you can be perfect sannyasi, yogi. Correct? If you work like that, you don't have to change clothes to become a sannyasi. The sannyasi sometimes artificially think that they have become liberated from all material duties and therefore they cease to perform Agni Hotra Yagnas, fire sacrifice. But actually, they are self-interested because their goal is to become one with the impersonal Brahman. Such a desire. This is mentioned for jnanis actually. Because jnanis what they do is once they understand all these things, then they think that, okay, I have understood how all these things is going on. Correct? I am not this body. Krishna is not material. Krishna is transcendental. And I will just end my body. Correct? And then that is the way. And then they stop doing anything. Okay? No, no further thing. So, and then the whole thing is how to merge into the Brahma Jyoti. 
Correct? They don't want to serve Krishna. Okay? So that's the reason it's not complete. It's not complete surrender. I'll get into details. Okay? Such a, so and, and they are doing this as a self-desire, correct? Because they want to get liberated.